Hello there. I am Victor, also known as God Junior to some. I'm here today because I am a first ballot survivor of the bedsit in Big Brother 5. And I'm also a king perpetrator of the bedsit on my glorious return to Ultimate Big Brother, thus qualifying me as the perfect person to give advice on what should happen. Top tips, do's and don'ts in this massive bedsit twist. Top tip number one, this, rate, this relates to who should be given tasks or punishments. As the person in the bed sit, you have to put all personal feelings aside and go for the person who will give the maximum impact. Maximum impact for the viewers at home. Who's gonna react the most hysterical? Whose life is gonna be made a mess? Who's gonna be pushed to that breaking point? Friend or foe, it doesn't matter. That, will, that, is, that is what, that decision is what's crucial to making you a champion or, or, or an afterthought in the pantheon of champions. Tip number two for the bed sit. How to cope if you see the inevitable, somebody bitching about you behind your back. Lose complete control about the situation. Have a meltdown. This is TV. You have to be thinking box office numbers. The bed sit is the tightest pressure cooker. The tightest pressure cooker environment known to mankind. Forget the gladiators arenas in ancient Rome, right? Forget dodgeball, you know, with Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn. No, this is it, the bed sit. Lose control there and then. Get it all out of your system there and then. Because what you need to do is store it up so that when you get back in the house, you're focused as to what you should do to exact the deepest kind of revenge. If you do not get it out of your system then, it's gonna come back to haunt you later on in the house. Tip number three, the most important, what to do when you go back in the house. Knowledge, some people say knowledge is power, but that's not right. It's what you do with the knowledge that determines how powerful you are. You listen to every bit of bitching, you listen to every bit of conversation, you store it up and you decide who you're gonna give little bits of, t of, of true real life information and who you're gonna manipulate when you go in. Because that is what's gonna make you the most powerful person. When you, when you go back in the house, you and your bedsit partner will be for 24 to 48 hours the most powerful housemates in there because people will be on edge. They don't know what you've heard, they don't know what's been said, but they'll be on edge because they know that one thing's for sure, you know, that's the fact. So you have to be sure and certain with a game plan as to what you're gonna do. If it was me, I'd find the people who are at the top of the food chain. You know, you got the Dans, you got the Hazels, the real popular people, maybe Jackie, like she's real strong in there as well. And you destabilize them. You have to destabilize people. You go and tell them who's been talking about them behind their back. You might wanna amp it up a bit, you might wanna twist words, but the most important thing is to make sure that it has that desired impact on them, that it rattles their, their nerve center, that it, it just destabilizes their equilibrium. And that, that's how you divide and conquer in the house. I am Victor. Those were my top tips for how to survive and become a legend in the bed sit. Be sure to continue to check channel5.com slash Big Brother for all forthcoming updates. See you on the flip side. Don't leave your girl alone. Otherwise, I'll be with her. Thank you.